Hey guys, I wanted to do this quick reaction um, and explain kind of the difference between an authority site and a niche site and why it really doesn't make a difference. I think a lot of people think that an authority site is not a niche site. And the reality is, is in Google's eyes, all websites are the same. Okay, they're exactly the same. And what I mean by that is Google doesn't say, oh, well, this is a niche site. Let's go ahead and rank this guy lower. And this is an authority site. Let's go ahead and rank this site higher. All these are buzz terms that really don't mean anything. At the end of the day, you have a website. And depending on how specific the content is for your website determines whether if you're a niche or authority. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. What only matters is the content that you're providing, okay? How specific are you on that specific content or how unspecific are you? An authority site is nothing more than an established website that has created a lot of content in that specific niche. And a niche site is the same thing. It re There really is no difference. I think a lot of people are thinking that there's a difference between the two. And here, Income School, which uh, he created a video three hours ago here, um, he talks about the difference between the two in his eyes. So let's go ahead and hear what he has to say about it. For creation, your website has what it takes to compete with those that are already established. That's what we're going to talk about here in this video today. So what do you do when you see competition within your niche? Should you switch niches to something with less competition? Almost always the answer is going to be no. The reality is, is that no matter what niche you're into, it's going to look competitive at first look. The best thing that you can do is actually learn how to lean into your competitive advantage. We'll talk more about what competitive advantages you have in just a second. But first, there's something I do need to get off my chest. I really don't like the distinction that people make between niche sites and authority sites. The way that I see it is a niche site is an authority site that just has grown up yet. Now there you go. So you heard him say a, a live example here about what he believes a niche site and an authority site is. And my opinion is the same. There really is no difference. The difference is, is just simply your view on it. Google's view is going to be the same, right? Google's going to look at this as one thing. It's going to look at it as a website. It doesn't care if it's authority or niche or what, you know, whatever kind of classification you put it in, that doesn't make a difference. And the content on these different websites don't make a difference either. Content is content. The website is the website. So when you create your website for the very first time, you're selecting your niche. What matters more is the topics of those content of the content. If you're in a very competitive niche, then you want to go into different blog topics that are less competitive. Just because the niche itself is competitive doesn't mean that that topic is competitive. Let me explain. So in my website, howtoboosttestosterone.org is an example of a blog that's in the health fitness type niche, right? The health and fitness niche is one of the most competitive, if not the most competitive niches of all time. However, I'm able to rank and get some traffic for, as a new blog, honestly, as a weak new blog, getting traffic for different keywords that people don't usually compete in. And that's kind of my competitive advantage. Here, he talks about having a competitive advantage and the benefits and things like that. But my point here is, is that one of my benefits, one of the things that help me or aid me in my kind of way is that I'm ranking and competing for topics that the larger sites won't necessarily always talk about. And even if there are, the competition is drastically lower and it still serves a purpose because there are people who are searching for these things. So if you're watching out there, right, you have heard people say in the blogging industry, you know, don't don't create blogs in competitive niches. Uh, don't um, you know? Don't don't go for the finance niche. The you know they call it your money, your life kind of thing. The health niche, all these kind of don't do these things. Go for abstract niches. Me personally, I don't care. All all of my businesses that I make money in are in those your money, your your life kind of niches, and uh, it, it it literally goes against the number one suggestion that a lot of bloggers have. Um, and literally, like I said, that's where the money comes from is those type of niches. The reason why they're so competitive is there's because there's money to be made there in larger amounts. And me personally, I don't shy away from that. What I do is I actually move towards it and I figure out how can I win in that area. So if you're listening and you're going to start a blog for the very first time, you're going to start a passive income generating website. You don't want to run away from a niche just because it seems more competitive, you want to figure out what kind of content can I produce in that specific 
niche what where can i win here how can i get a competitive advantage whether it's doing keyword research whether it's literally thinking in your head what kind of content can i create whether it's doing google search whatever it might be whatever your strategy is to figure out what content you can create after you come up with those ideas just do a simple google research right do a simple google search see who you're competitive competing with who are those quote unquote authority sites and the reason why i say quote unquote is because at the end of the day an authority site is nothing more than a site that has established itself on Google. It's created enough content. It's getting enough traffic for it to rank. That's all it is, right? And so you wouldn't look at a website that is any different uh, with lower traffic. You would just say, yeah, that website doesn't rank, but you wouldn't really call it an authority site. You would just say, oh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a weak, small website over there on page 10. There's really no difference. All right, guys. So two takeaways for this video, if you don't learn anything at all, the two takeaways, number one, is don't switch your niche just simply because you feel it's competitive, okay? And the second takeaway is there's really no difference between authority and a niche site, just how established and how much authority they have in Google's eyes comes down from how long they've been creating content, how much they've been ranking, and how long they've been holding their position there on Google. So that's all it comes down to. And at the end of the day, there are smaller topics that you can compete in and slowly build up to. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, and hopefully this video helps out. Peace out, bye.